Hey everybody, in this video I'll show you quickly how to send properties from OpenBOM back to SolidWorks. It recently changed, I want to give you an update on how it works. It's really easy. First, I'm going to build a, create a bill of material and I've created a bomb from my flashlight and here's what that looks like here. So I've got, uh, got a simple bomb. I want to send back, I'm going to make some changes to description and I'm going to send those properties back to uh, uh, back to SolidWorks. So I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to change my description here to my reflective cone and I'll change the description here to this clip. And um, let's see here. We'll make that clip too. Okay, so a couple of changes to description. Back in SolidWorks, first thing we're going to do is visit the settings and go to the advanced area right here and create a um, property list for the update properties. These are properties that are going to go back to SolidWorks from OpenBOM. I've got one created called update and I've put the value of description in there. So I picked description from the list and I saved it over there. So that's the first thing we do is create that list. The second thing we do is use the command to send properties back, which are right here, update cab properties. I've got a choice of whether or not I want to create them. You can decide for yourself, but I'm going to pick the um, pick the location where I want to fetch the properties from, from the bomb. We get all information here about what is going to happen. And model properties are updated successfully. Okay, so let's take a look. I think we changed our, uh, our, locking, um, our locking pin. Sorry, we changed our reflector. Let's take a look at the reflector. Let's open that up. And check out the properties for that and we're going to see that our reflector now is description xyz so we sent that property back to uh, back to SolidWorks from open bomb same same with the clip so i hope you found that that useful i mean the key here is to create this property filter in the advanced property settings in open bomb for solidworks i call it update you can create a new one you can have several of them put the property uh in there and then use the update cap properties and you'll get those values back in SolidWorks.